The FIFA 2022 World Cup has kicked off today in Qatar. The competition has been mired in controversies and widespread criticism of its attitude towards LGBT people. I'm joined by veteran LGBT Iranian human rights activist Mariam Namazi. Oh my God, Talk bro. To oh, hell no, man. And co-founder of the Muslim debate initiative, Abdullah Al-Andalusi. Yes! Well, there's no doubt that uh, hosting an event like the World Cup is a privilege, not a right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. And with that privilege comes certain obligations. FIFA's own statutes prioritise... Sodomy. They say that... Sodomy. ...are important and that competing nations must oblige uh, and abide by them. Now, if you look at these particular games, uh, you can see that despite the pledge of FIFA that no discrimination will be allowed, in fact, there are seven competing nations where sodomy is totally illegal. And if a star footballer from any of those seven nations was outed as gay or came out voluntarily, he would almost certainly be jailed rather than be selected to play for the national team. So that is discrimination. It's against FIFA's rules, but FIFA is allowing it to happen. That's actually true from Qatari law. Um, they don't recognize a term called heterosexual or homosexual. Those, these are Western terms. And so they wouldn't imprison anybody who comes and says, I'm homosexual, because it's, it's meaningless according to Qatari law, being heterosexual or homosexual, or bisexual, or what have you. So that's actually incorrect. As for sports and uh, human rights, um, well, I suppose some might argue that it's about the sports, about the game, it's not about anything political around it. You're just bringing that in to, uh, to kind of just stir the pot a little bit. But another argument can be made that human rights, okay, great, according to whose definition? Right, your definition, her definition, uh, England's definition. <coughs> if, you, if you took out all the players of all the, of all the, of all the teams, or you took out all the teams who their nations were involved in human rights abuses, You'd have no one, maybe except maybe Benin, perhaps playing, and but most of the countries would, would have to be withdrawn because most countries are guilty of what you might um, human rights violations by your definition and by many other people. And people have a right to um, sodomy, uh, to dress the way they want, to be treated as equal citizens under the law. Now in Qatar there is Sharia law, and it's not just a question of discrimination against gay people and LGBT, but also women are considered second-class citizens. But, sorry, Mary, but the fact you're, is you're, you're that, but the fact Mary, is, you know the that. fact is... Sorry, don't talk over me. I know you're used to doing that, no, but we, don't do we're it. we're just talking. No. I, um, before I answer that, I want to answer something she said was quite egregious. She said it, human rights, which she supports ostensibly, as she claims, a Western definition of it, is about the right to choose to dress. And yet she is the person who said a couple of years ago, that she would um, ban the burqa, and she said that I think every secularist and women's rights defender should support a burqa and niqab ban. So clearly, hypocrite <laughs> when it comes to Muslims choosing what they want to wear because she feels Not that Muslim Not women better. making that choice is somehow subjugating themselves, and she knows better. She can tell Muslim women what to do. They can't tell themselves what no, to do. So you are a hypocrite, I madam. I think, a stop pointing your finger at me. What? The point of the, it's not that women don't have the right to wear the veil or the right not to wear it if they choose. The point is that in countries under Islamic law, women don't have that right to un A few moments later. When we defend human rights, we often call for bans. Mm -hmm. For example, the ban on smoking in public spaces because it's detrimental. Such secondhand smoke is detrimental to public health. We call for a ban on child labor because you support a ban on torture, a ban on execution, because banning things that are detrimental to human rights and human values is actually a step in the direction of defending human rights. And it's the same with the borga. The borga is a body bag for women. It is women carrying that wall of gender segregation on their very backs. Mm -hmm. And therefore, calling for a ban is actually in line with defending women's rights and human rights. Okay. Let's um, close this. Um, and a, a twisted argument um, worthy of the Chinese government who wanted to get rid of extremism 
by banning people um, and going to mosques, banning Qurans, banning a whole number of things in, in the name of defending Chinese values and rights. So Nobody's please, please that. spare us. Nobody's supporting because that. Because I, I could make the same argument against you. I could say that, that, that society has a right to public decency and therefore public displays of sex or sexual affection, um, uh, are more than just holding the hand, uh, should be banned to protect people's it right to Islamic public state. decency. It I is. can turn that argument right back against it you, you see. Anyone can make the argument that of banning anything because of a, I'm going to in insert right here, and then that means I have to ban a whole bunch of things. So okay. give me a justified basis by which Islamic rights, it makes sense, uh, the, 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 the makes sense, rights. and Western rights is somehow rational. Matter, just six weeks ago, a female university student was stoned to death in a so-called honour killing by her family because she didn't follow the strict way in which women are supposed to behave. Abdullah, stoned that, to does, death. Does that law exist? Does that law exist? Not in Qatar. And that is... The, oh, wait, so it didn't and, happen. And it, is, and it was not investigated by wait, the Qatari authorities. Wait. The murderers women got away get, with it. Women get raped on the streets of UK all the time. The oh, well, that's all right, then. Murder and rape. <laughs> Should I now put you that see, as an indictment against the West the or prob, indictment against the Britain? Problem you see? Is having that's what you're doing. You're saying Islamists. some criminals in the Muslim world do something bad. This must mean all Muslims no. are bad or Islam no. is bad. And, and, and yet your criminals do not represent no. your own state. Okay. Okay. Come on. Again, Emotional, damn it! Let's have a real conversation about Islam. Let's have a real conversation about what's happening in Qatar. That's not having your axe to grind. No, you're saying you're ex-Muslim. You declare yourself ex-Muslim. You insult. Yeah, but he's interrupting everybody all the time and shouting let's try it. from the islamic perspective islamic law there's prohibitions on on adultery okay um if it's made if, if a public adultery which is, vir is virtually impossible to I prove it's think. more of a symbolic law right. and the, because because it's impossible to prove uh, uh, wait, 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 wait 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 this stoning me, is part of islamic wait, law didn't muhammad again, say in a hadith wait, me again didn't right? muhammad say in a hadith okay look i, I know you have an axe to grind because you're ex-muslim i'm ex-christian but i don't I, i've I'm got over it adulterers are executed if they make their adultery public. Okay. Uh, who says you have a right to commit adultery and cheat on your partner? How dare you say that? How dare you say that? How dare you? How dare you? People can have whatever the beliefs they want, but they cannot shove those beliefs down people's throats in the law I, I wish you why the state advice, Mariam. and also you, listen you are defending I wish you killing took people advice. so don't you dare tell me I take my advice. You hear that kids? Never take your own advice. I would just like to end this video by saying special thanks to brother Abdullah Alan Delusi, especially for standing up against these human rights clowns. I can cite many peer-reviewed scientific papers which documents how both sodomy and adultery harms us physically, emotionally and how it leads to extinction, and over countless other harms in society. These things should be outlawed, banned, and punished. The fact that people defend this disgusting things on live television shows how far we have fallen. I'll just leave you guys with this meme I made. This whole situation kind of reminded me of the shouting Karen Cat meme. So enjoy. Bruh.